Hey everybody, Ephraim here. Let's uh, continue where we left off. We opened the island um, demo um, in Unity and it is time for us to um, move away from the island and to start making our own game. So what we do is we go to file and we click new scene. Now you might be tempted to say, oh I want to go into new project. So let me explain really quick the difference between a project and a scene. Project is basically everything um, all the make files of your full game and a scene is basically a level so the cool thing about being able to make a new scene is that you can still use the assets of that you use in other levels or in other parts of your game um, in the same way so as you can see I made a new scene and in my project panel you can see that all the assets of the um, of the island level are still there okay so uh, first thing that we need is some basic uh, geometry to be able to walk around on something to form a floor so uh, let me go into game object and a game object is basically everything in your game um, so you can create uh, cubes you can create lights you can create uh, cameras that sort of thing those are all uh, game objects so in this case I'm gonna click cube and it's going to create a new cube for me now remember the F button as soon as I hit F it focuses on it and I can uh, move my camera around with alt now as you can see it hovers over the ground just a little bit and in this case I don't want it because I want it to be the floor so I come over here where it says position and I'm gonna make sure I put the position on zero 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 for everything okay and now what I want is uh, turn this cube into a more something that we can walk on of course you can scale it really big but we need it a little flat too so uh, as you can see if you whenever you want to cheat on which angles you want to stretch out you can uh, look over here and see oh yes y is always up and then x and z are always the horizontal ones so I'm going to scale x here of this cube and turn it into 25 and as you can see it made the cube longer and then z I'm going to do 25 also now that's perfect let's zoom out a little bit uh, I think this base is a little uh, a little thick so let me change the Y into a uh, 0.3 perfect okay now uh, that looks great but now when we run our game what happens is we see the floor but we can't move around nothing happens because we don't have anything uh, happening yet so first things first let add, let's add a light so we can see where we're going to go to game object hit create other and then a point light and it will create a light right on top of our floor here and it's a little close to the floor that's why you have this big wide blurb so I'm gonna move it up a little bit then change the uh, range to something around 40 uh, maybe 30 perfect and then I'm going to move the light a little higher that looks a lot better right there so now if we run the game you can see okay we can see the floor now a little more clearly but we still can't walk around so that's the next thing that we'll do as you come over to um, um, to your site here you can see the first person controller prefab now that's what is used in the island level and uh, not, well, not what we're going to use but we could just drag it in for fun to see what happens and as soon as you drag it in you can see it puts it on some kind of a weird location so we're going to make it go to zero 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 again then hit F to focus on it Uh, as you can see I put it a little bit through the floor so I'm gonna move it up and then when I hit play now you can see we can move around just like a first-person shooter and we can walk towards the edge uh, make sure you don't fall off because when that happens uh, there's nothing to catch you so let me show you that you just keep falling forever and forever and forever so uh, until you stop the game of course so that's what happens when you put a uh, first person controller in there but we don't need that so let me go ahead and delete this um, what we'll do is we're make, gonna make a third person kind of a game sort of a Mario Kart meets action um, so let's add a piece of geometry to, to, the, um, to the mix that we can use as, a, as something the camera can follow so hit game object create other and then um, let's do a sphere move the sphere up a little bit so it doesn't um, go through the floor and then um, we want this camera right here to uh, follow the sphere if we run it now you can see the cameras just stuck the sphere kinda hovers over the floor and nothing really interesting happens 
So what we'll do is we need to turn this sphere into something that works like a player that can walk around and it can jump and stuff. And then we need to change this camera to be able to follow this sphere. So let's start with the sphere. Um, and this is where I like to introduce components. You already know what game objects are. Everything in your game is an object. But components are things you can add to a game object. So if you go up to components and click, uh, you want to add some physics to it and then a character controller. As soon as you do that, uh, you just say add or replace here. It adds a character controller to uh, the sphere and now it can function around as a character. However, nothing happens yet because we haven't told the script to um, to um, react to your keys. So to do that, we need to add a little script. So right click somewhere in your project and say create and then JavaScript. Now it creates a JavaScript for you. Let me rename it to say um, move around. Okay. Hit the edit button and then it launches your default uh, editor that you've set to... Um, to edit your script and usually that's Unitron it comes with Unity and that's also free uh, let me paste some code in here um, before we continue let me explain the code here uh, real quick I'm basically making two variables one is the speed that the character can walk around with and one is the speed that he rotates with now the update function is is something that is um, already there every time the engine uh, draws a frame and which is like that could be 100 frames per second it comes through the update function so that's already set for us now what we do is uh, in the update function we we tell it to um, listen to the uh, to the character controller and move the character around uh, with it so uh, if you want to copy and paste this code and um, and um, then close it and hit save now what we need to do is we need to make sure that this script is applied to the sphere so I'm going to drag it out to where it says sphere I'm gonna drop it on there and now let's see what happens when I play the game the sphere falls because it's a character and a character is usually on the ground and when I start moving it around it uh, it actually moves into the into uh, the direction it's facing which is pretty hard to see with a sphere but also it's not very awesome yet because the camera is not following it so all we need to do to fix that is to go uh, into our project panel and hit search and look for um, smooth follow. Now this script already comes with the island demo so we just drag this script out and drop it on top of the main camera. Then click the main camera and you see that it's added here as a component to the camera. Now it, the smooth follow uh, script is already there we still need to set what it needs to be followed by setting the target. So we just um, drag the sphere out onto the target, drop it and now when we run our game boom as you can see the camera follows our little ball around and we can rotate and walk around with the cursor keys um, there's no jumping in this one yet but it does walk around a little slow we can change that um, go to the smooth follow script here and say um, I'm sorry not the smooth follow script click the sphere and then go to the move around script and set the speed to something like 7 or 8 let's see if that's better yeah, that's a lot faster already. Perfect. All right. Um, now to make make sure that we can see if the ball is actually rotating or not, uh, this sphere, we could give it a texture. I usually start with making a game with spheres and balls, and it looks very primitive, but it's a great way to shape the gameplay. And later you can add all kinds of art to make it look really sick. But usually when you start with art, it distracts from actually making the gameplay work so in the next um, in the next tutorial next week we'll look at uh, adding some art and um, um, adding some action to it alright this is it for now uh, see you next week